Well, for starters, aviation is very important in Minnesota's economy. It uh, generates more than $12 billion a year in economic activity, more than 5% uh, of the state's economy. Well, aviation is important because in a state that's the size of Minnesota, you have the ability to travel you know, huge distances and get business done, meet people, make things happen. Uh, I mean, in the business world, in a lot of instances, you know, time is money. I think aviation is a, is a unique niche in that market. I think it's a very important niche. Obviously, highways are slow. Trains, for the most part, are unavailable, certainly anywhere outstate. I, you know, I think we've got a pretty good network. I mean, you, you, you basically can't look east or west, but you look north to south. You start at Rochester, you go to Minneapolis, you ride up the line to Brainerd, to Bemidji, to International Falls, and over to Duluth. So from a north-south perspective, you're pretty well covered. We have almost two sides of the airport. We have a commercial service side, which uh, obviously the current provider is Delta. Generally, aviation would be uh, private aircraft, corporate aircraft, business travel. The Essential Air Service is a uh, federal program instituted in 1978. Uh, at the time, the airlines were deregulated with the idea that we would preserve commercial airline service to small towns. Well, it's predicted that within 10 years, uh, the, the five airports that, that now are eligible for essential air service will not have it anymore. In my mind, it's here to stay. I don't know that that's here to stay in the, in the minds of Congress. The response to that has got to be uh, general aviation. We need to reform the essential air service in ways that, that, that puts some of the local local skin in the game. We need to have some local buy-in and we need to get some requirements on the airlines that, that they treat it as, as uh, something more than just a cash cow.